Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Why I want Unamdi Kanu to be released. Fielding aid may fall. Why I want Unamdi Kanu to be released. Fielding aid. Uche may fall. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. Uche Okafor may fall. A strange deputy leader of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra hype up on Thursday said he wants Unamde Kanu, detained leader of the group released by Nigerian authorities, so that he can see the effect of the violence, horror, and terror that he initiated. Politics Nigeria reports that may forbearated IPOB members for protecting their own human rights, but violating other people's. It demanded that anyone who asks for equ- equity must also go with clean, with clean ends. Let us face fact here and sentiment apart. There is no doubt that Unamdekanu was tortured and his human rights violated when he was brought from Kenya to Nigeria in June 2021. But why is it that the criminal gangs, he inspired unconscionably brutally target, torture and murder their victims and deny them the enjoyment of their own human rights? Mefor wrote on his official Facebook page. Nobody should be denied of his or her human right. Justice for Kanu. But what about justice for the victims of IPOP, ESN unknown gunmen, inspired by Unamde Kanu? I want Kanu to be released to see the effect of this violence, horror and terror that he initiated against all whilst cancer. Mefor added, of note, this same human rights violations, including that of prohibition of torture, that the indigenous people of Biafra under Unamdikanu, hype up are talking about today is the same human right that they argued that it did not exist in freedom fighting when it suited them in order to justify their despicable conduct. This same they argued on democracy and used it to try to discredit, lie and blackmail us by launching the ESN, that is, after renaming the volunteers to ESN, which went on to assume different names alliances and form other networks and alliances to unleash unprecedented systematic human rights violations against other vulnerable Biafrans. Today, the trace they left behind are that of insecurity as against insecurity as against security that they bragged about it is horror and terror. It is enforced disappearances and it is extrajudicial killings and targeted assassination of Igbo Biafran on Biafran soil. In summary, it is incomprehensible, unconscionable, and self serving that the indigenous people of Biafra under Unamdekanu IPOB talks of human rights when it affects them, but not when it concerns other people. Uche Okafo Mefor A strange deputy leader of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, on Thursday said he wants Unamde Kanu, the 10th leader of the group released by Nigerian authorities, 
so that he can see the effect of the violent horror and terror that he initiated. Politics Nigeria reports that Mephobrated hyper members for protecting their own human rights but violating other people's. It demanded that anyone who asks for equity must also go with clean must also go with clean ends. Let us face the fact here and settlement apart. There is no doubt that Unam Dekan was tortured and his human rights violated when he was brought from Kenya to Nigeria in June 2021. But why is it that the criminal gangs he inspired unconscionably brutally target, torture and murder their victims and deny them the enjoyment of the own human right? Meforud on his official Facebook page. Nobody should be denied of his or our human right. Justice for Kano, but what about justice for the victims of IPOB ESN unknown gunmen? Inspired by Unnam de Kano. I want Kano to be released to see the effect of this violence, horror, and terror that he initiated against all wise counsel. Mefo added of loads. These same human rights violations, including that of prohibition of torture, that the indigenous people of the Afra under Unam Dekano IPOP are talking about today, is the same human right that they argued that it did not exist in freedom fighting when it suited them in order to justify their despicable conduct. The same they argued on democracy and used it to try to discredit, lie and blackmail us by launching the ESN, that is after renaming the volunteers to ESN, which went on to assume different names, aliases and form.